whenever it gets the rehearsal letter U of Beautiful Passing, I always start to cry because that's the music that I actually wrote sitting there with her. Letter U is a moment that moves me every time. I wrote this piece, Beautiful Passing, about my mother's death that, that um, really dug into me. And being present for my mother's passing was a you know, significant event. The story begins when my mother called me one morning and said, Steve, I want you to, she was, you know, had been sick um, and, and she was in a assisted living facility. She said, Steve, I want you to come visit me uh, earlier today uh, because today's going to be my last day. And, uh, you know, taken aback, yeah, okay. Uh, instead of visiting you in the afternoon, I will come first thing in the morning. I came first thing in the morning and all the nurses and the aides from this, uh, this assisted living facility came up to me and said, uh, Steve, your mom called us and, and thanked us for all our care and said that today was going to be her last day. And I said, yeah, she same, said the same thing to me. So I went up to her room and I you know, opened the door and first thing I said was, Mom, I don't want you to be bummed out if you wake up tomorrow morning and you're not dead. And she laughed. She had a great sense of humor. And, you know, laughed and then handed me this folder with all the phone numbers that I should call after she passes. Um, and, you know, annotated. Now, don't, you know, I think the cable bill, they should prorate that. It's only the, you know, 27th of the month. They shouldn't charge you for the whole month. And I prepaid this uh, cremation. Don't let them charge you. I don't want anything fancy, just what I paid for. And she went through this. I got very you know, emotional. I was laughing, but I was crying. And she said, Steve, please don't be sad. I've had a beautiful life. Please tell everyone I had a beautiful passing. And um, she said, just sit and work on your laptop. And I'm going to just see if I can slip away here in the, in the corner. And she just, she just lay down in her bed. It took her about six hours. And during that time, I composed. And I really like, what do I do? And I, and I, I it was such an intense moment that I, I actually composed music, you know, I just, I wrote music uh, that, that captured, you know, the, the light and, and her monologue and, and this sort of surreal um, thing that was going on. And I looked back every couple of minutes and she was still there breathing. Um, she waited until my wife showed up with takeout and we had to set up the takeout tray, table, uh, TV trays and put the food out and uh, maybe... 10 minutes passed when I wasn't really focused on her and she slipped away during that time. And, um, and I just started to think, I started to have this insomnia for the next couple of weeks and started to think about what was it like for her trying to let go. As I was having this insomnia, I couldn't let go of consciousness for what, six to eight hours. I would wake up, you know, in that hypnagogic state and that flickering between wakefulness and consciousness. And as, you know, my mother, as far as we know, for eternity, let go. And I just started to think about what, what that must have, what, what is that like? What is that consciousness like? So I wrote this piece, Beautiful Passing, which has her strength in the solo violin, has the orchestra kind of playing the role of all this, you know, the cable company and the funeral home and me. And then, then the kind of the center of the piece is, uh, of, is, is trying to capture that flickering. And it's the first time that a, that a piece really was autobiographical for me. And it sort of raised the bar about, um, about crux movement in a piece. I mean, the way I think of, of a shape, I like things to happen. Um, I like more and more telling stories. I'm really more interested in the flow, the continuity, the story. And um, I, I like to have something that the story hinges on and hangs off of. Um, and since then, I've tried to draw more on that, um, that kind of personal, you know, personal emotion to drive a, a composition. <laughs>